Well, the current landscape of therapy in Crohn's disease is moved away from step care. Um, currently, we focus on patients who are high risk and treat them with highly effective therapy earlier in the course of the disease. And that's quite a departure from uh, the incremental approach which we've used for many years. Rizankizumab is a monoclonal antibody directed against interleukin-23, which is a cytokine that has uh, pronounced pro-inflammatory effects in IBD and in certain rheumatic diseases, specifically ankylosing spondylitis and psoriatic arthritis. It's also highly effective therapy for psoriasis. So this study was a phase two study that was conducted uh, two years ago in um, global locations. And the study was a dose finding study that compared a low dose of rizankizumab, 200 milligrams given intravenously on three occasions during the induction phase of the trial, to 600 milligrams, a high dose, uh, to placebo. And um, the overall endpoint was remission as defined by CDI scores. However, there was also extensive endoscopic assessments. And what we demonstrated in the trial was that um, the drug was effective for inducing remission and there was a dose response. So the 600 milligram dose was highly effective compared to 200 milligrams and placebo. And moreover, there was a striking endoscopic um, improvement uh, such that patients, uh, the rates of endoscopic remission were substantially greater than placebo. Now at this year's ACG, we've updated uh, a secondary analysis from that study looking at rapidity of response. And in the study, we use CDAI scores by week to compare the 600 milligram, 200 milligram, and placebo assignments. And what was demonstrated is that the drug had a relatively rapid onset of action with statistically significant changes being demonstrated at, at two weeks um, with the 600 milligram dose being most effective. There's great interest in IL-23 as next generation monoclonal antibodies, both in uh, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. There are several agents under evaluation. And moreover, uh, several of these drugs have now made uh, it to market approval in psoriasis therapy. So their safety and efficacy is excellent in that condition. In fact, they've transformed the field and uh, they really have achieved psoriasis induction r rates of 90%, which is unheard of. So obviously the drugs were very interested in, in both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and there are phase three studies underway uh, with many agents right now.